Hello class, my name is Emmanuel Sosa and um, for my part of the uh, group presentation I will be presenting on pathophysiology um, and signs and symptoms of uh, viral hepatitis. Um, so in regards to the pathophysiology of uh, viral hepatitis, there are two, uh, two, two phases. One is acute um, viral hepatitis um, and the other is chronic hepatitis. Uh, so with regards to uh, acute viral hepatitis, uh, the virus invades the hepatocytes uh, and the immune system uh, recognizes uh, an invasion and they mobilize a local inflammatory response. Um, so from here, cytotoxic T cells, natural killer cells, they all come in um, and they uh, lyse the infected cells, um, leaving behind debris and um, other cells that are just dead. Um, so the liver, as part of its uh, job in the body, it can regenerate, um, you know, over time. And so with each uh, inflammatory response, the liver is damaged and it can um, regenerate part of the lost uh, functionality in tissue. Um, but over time, uh, Scarring or you know fib you know fibrosis occurs in the hepatocytes and this uh, decreases uh, liver regen regeneration and degeneration times as well as decreases overall liver function um, and so chronic hepatitis is uh, typically uh, takes many years and uh, can be seen with um, hepatitis B uh, hepatitis D and also hepatitis C um, so with these uh, these viruses continue to cause a uh, inflammatory response, which over time uh, damages the liver, leading to chronic um, hepatitis, and eventually the liver can become cirrhotic. Um,